Shalom, you're watching Herbud Sheva TV. I'm Yoni Kempinski, and this is our daily edition. Stray gunfire from Syria wounded an Israeli soldier Monday. The IDF soldier was injured by errant fire from internal fightings in Syria, the army said. He was evacuated to the hospital. The soldier is reportedly from the armed corps, which is currently stationed along the Israeli-Syrian border. IDF sources told Arut Sheva Monday that the gunfire surfaces after a full day of quiet along the border, with no shots or explosions heard on the Syrian side. Hours before, a senior military official briefed soldiers along the border, stating that the quiet is misleading. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with the Norwegian Foreign Minister today. They focused mostly on the regional threats to the Middle East from the Islamic State Organization. I think the most important thing is to nip it in the bud, and those who don't do so will find uh, Islamic terrorism that is here today, tomorrow at their doorstep. I know that you understand that, and I look forward to talking to you about that and the pursuit of peace. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. It's, good it's really good to be back here again, and uh, condolences uh, from Norway on what has taken place during different difficult times uh, for Israel uh, this summer. And I just came from the NATO summit uh, mm. in Wales like uh, to Israel, and also mm. there was a lot of discussion on how uh, to join forces now against extremism, mm. especially you now with the growing uh, ISIS a challenge in Syria and in Iraq. Finance Minister Yair Lapid spoke at the 14th annual uh, counter-terrorism conference of IDC. The peace process is on hold and a regional conference on peace is the only idea currently on the table, said Lapid. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu must understand that we will back him politically if he chooses to go to such a conference. Lapid and other MKs, including those from Labour and Hatnua, are pushing the idea of a regional conference that would include Egypt, Jordan, Israel, and the Palestinian Authority to work out a comprehensive peace plan. The world is changing, and this is a time of threat and opportunity. The ISIS and Al-Qaeda threats coming from all over uh, needs to create a coalition of the more moderate countries, including Israel, and we are calling now for a regional summit that will, will deal with the, the Gaza problem and with all the terror threats in the neighborhood and around us. During the conference, we had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Boaz Ganor. Dr. Ganor is the executive director and the co-founder of ICT, which is IDC's International Institute for Counterterrorism. It takes a network to beat a network. The terrorists created the global jihadi network and now there is a real need for the global counter jihadi terrorist networks which includes many Muslims around the world and many Muslim countries. The Jerusalem Municipality and Amif Al Hapais, the national lottery in conjunction with the Ariel Municipal Company and Moria dedicated the Jerusalem Hapais Hall on Monday due to be the largest sports hall, leisure hall and culture center in the Middle East. Jerusalem's mayor, Nir Bakat, spoke at the hall's opening ceremony. Well, first of all, it's a dream come true. Uh, we've, been, uh, um, we've been dreaming about such a stadium for decades, and uh, it is a big honor uh, to open it this uh, week, actually, in a few days from now, uh, in the first event. Um, it's a very well uh, organized arena that enables lots of flexibility for sports and culture and events. Uh, already in the first three months in, until the end of the year, it has over 50% uh, uh, usage. So it's a big honor uh, both for quality of life and for the economy of the city and the positioning of the city. We're back to leading Israel. Uh, as the Center for Culture and Tourism. Okay, that will be all for today. Until next time, from all of us here at Arutz Sheva, IsraelNationalNews.com. Shalom.